Hi guys. The last few years have been like super freaking crazy, man. I say about five years ago, I connected with my husband. Now, <laughs> five years ago, uh, well, almost six years ago, he wasn't my husband. We were just still really good friends. In the process of us getting together, a lot of crazy things were happening in my life. Um, I was dealing with crazy discernment messages from others, um, spirits reaching out to close friends to relay messages to me, even pastor's wife hitting me up on social media to warn me of some spiritual warfare and black magic I was gonna be dealing with a year before it even happens. And when I say craziness, I mean craziness. So in the process of me getting with my partner and stepping away from just all the crazy stuff that was in my life, I was in the process of also stepping into my power, my purpose, direction, and where I was headed. At this time, there was a lot of craziness that was happening in my own life, and I ended up just waking up one day and had like an F that moment where I was tired of the way I was um, living. I was tired of the people who I were, was around. I was tired of the situations I was dealing with. Um, when it came to just friends, family, even my own children, there was a lot of things that was happening that I was so over with. You know, when, when I was dealing with many, many years growing up until adulthood, it was just a lot of craziness and chaos. And I had got to a point where I was severely done with the craziness and the chaos and I needed to find direction in my life so in this process of pursuing my my happiness my 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 new world I decided to do a lot of different things in this time so I decided to change my name uh, I, at this time I decided to go through a divorce with a cheating partner that decided to have a child with someone else while I was dealing with cancer um, and that was not the first time this has happened. Um, my previous marriage, um, yes, I happen to be married more than once, but it's not my own doing uh, per se. It was just me looking for love in all the wrong places and getting connected with those that didn't value or respect me. And I guess a part of me was broken and that's why I was bringing in broken people that weren't giving me what I needed because I wasn't even really pouring into myself. I was still trying to find myself and my destiny, my purpose, what I wanted, what I needed for my own life. In the process of all this happening, um, my older son ended up receiving um, some weird spiritual stuff that was happening with him that was like falling into my life as well. So it was spilling over. Um, and then I had friends and some family members that were also experiencing spiritual um, messages. They had ghosts like realistically conversating with them to let me know that the path that I was on was about to get real crazy and the ground was about to be disturbed. So I can definitely say like when you're a person who's leveling up and you have some form of anointing on you or you have some form of like um, spiritual gifts abilities uh, intuition expect a lot of craziness to happen into your life um because your ground has to be disturbed so when i do my group sessions i basically look at it like turbulence you know if you're riding in a plane and you know that you're on your your road to your destination and you get stuck with like crazy weather the plane starts to have some kind of turbulence you know things start to get shaky and rocky so this is kind of what i was experiencing like every time that I was leveling up in something new that was bringing some kind of a stability in my life or some kind of um, collaboration or a new venture or um, new relationships, new friendships, something was always getting disturbed as well. Like when you're leveling up and you're um, closing the gap of change, there's going to have a lot of things that got to be shaken up and got to be disturbed. They have to be... Um, um, irritated or kind of um, broken up in order for you to have a level up in order for you to have some great magic uh, growth that comes into your life like things are not going to be easy and a lot of us who are on the right path when it comes to like making changes things are not going to feel great like you're going to have to leave a lot of people behind when you're on your growth process you're going to have to 
um, let go of a lot of people that serve no purpose and have no place in your life. And sadly to say, a lot of the time it's for, it's family, um, it's the people closest to you. Um, it could even be your closest friends. Like when you have people in your life that don't want to see positive things come in your life out of envy, um, those things show themselves. Like you'll start to notice that friends and family do start to become distant or do start to um, have resentment against you for making necessary changes or you'll have those groups of people that will feel some type of way because you're making the positive changes in your own life um, and it doesn't involve them. And that just that doesn't mean that anything is um, wrong with them. It's just that you, you're no longer fitting on the same level as these other people. Not everyone can go with you on your on your deliverance path. No one can, you know, not everyone can go with you on your growth path. Some people have to be left behind. Some people um, don't understand values. They don't understand boundaries. They don't respect boundaries. There's a lot of um, people that will come into your life to knock you off your path or, or um, stall your path or even slow down your path. And usually when this happens, it's because, you know, when you're going through a phase in your life where you're leveling up, where you're definitely seeing some kind of a growth within yourself that could be going back to school, that could be learning a new trade, that could be um, the simplest things is just wanting to live life differently, changing old habits, um, changing friends, changing family. Like when, when you have people that are not happy for your forward movement, that says a lot about them and their character and not you as a person. Um, and, and that doesn't mean that these are bad people. That just means that you have to kind of look at the situation and look at them in a way that you say, okay, well, I'm going to step back and I'm going to step away from the situation because it no longer serves a purpose or place in my life. Um, and, you know, when I talk about baggage burdens and labels, and recently I just did another class where it was um, take flight journey to discovery of self. It's basically, you know, when we have to let go and shed old baggage burdens and labels that the society has placed upon us, and when we have to shed baggage burdens and labels that others have placed upon us, it's, you know, that requires a, a, a lot of, of shedding and growth. It's like peeling away the onion. So, you know, releasing baggage, and baggage could be anything in your life. That could be responsibilities. That could be um, old debt. That can be... Um, old family members, old friends, um, old situations, things that kind of hold you back and don't allow you to kind of move forward. Um, you know, th then you have your, your burdens. A burden for me, it feels like, you know, those that want to put more on you than you are willing to handle or those that want to put a lot on you when it's not your um, fault to take care of that responsibility. Like a lot of people want to throw all of their uh, downfalls on another person or want to throw a lot of like the karma on another person and, and because they don't want to deal with it. But that's not my baggage and, you know, to carry. So you have to see the red flags and call people out and say, hey, 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 like, you know, there's a lot of things going on in my life that I'm kind of already dealing with. I'm only going to deal with what I feel like I need to be dealing with. And when someone wants to come and start bringing chaos and toxic and drama and craziness into your life, you kind of have to put your hand down and say, you know, that's not my baggage and that's not my burden and I will not um, keep myself in this environment or situation. Why? Because I don't have to. Not everybody's going to respect that and not everybody's going to want to understand your boundaries when it comes to things that you say out of your mouth when it talks about this type of stuff. As well as labels, like labels go hand in hand with like deformation of character. You know, you're going to always have those, whether it's society, friends, or even family that want to say, you know, simple things as I know you, or I know this person, or I know how they behave, or I know what they've done. Um, you know, that can be very um, contradictive when it comes to individuals, because unless you're with a person like 24 seven, or you're with someone like all the time and you really really know this person because you know you see them every day you talk to them all the time you know their habits you know their routine then you can say well i know a person but if you don't know a person like that you can't go around and labeling them as i know who they are i know how they are and i know how they behave because that's deformation of character especially if you're spreading gossip or you're spreading lies and rumors to others about a particular person because you simply just don't like them because they stand up for themselves or they put their foot down or 
they make uh, necessary moves for their life or they make money moves or they know how to handle business and they don't really need help from anyone else. You're always going to be dealing with blockers. You're always going to deal with someone that is going to be against you when it comes to your forward movement. Um, there's not much more I can really say about that. And then, you know, when it comes to um, Take Flight Journey, Discovery of Self, it, you, it takes a lot for us as individuals to really understand who we are as a person. We go through things every every day, and milestones happen all the time. Just because we get at to a certain age doesn't mean that we're not still going through milestones. Just because we end up becoming a certain age in our life doesn't mean that life stops. It, it, that's unrealistic. Like Life is going every single day. You're being tested every single day. You're having to learn new things every single day. You have to do new things every single day. And it's always changing. So it's either you're going to fall behind because you stay used to old habits and old routines and old way of doing things, or you close that gap and you move forward and you change old habits and old routines and you start to do new forward moving things. You know, when it comes to understanding like your baggage, your burdens and your labels, or even discovering yourself and understanding yourself, it takes a lot of willpower to want to dive deep into yourself. And sometimes it takes you to have to look into the mirror and reflect on yourself and say, you know, where do I go? Where do I go from here? How do I start from here? Like, what do I need to do? What's the necessary step that I need to take in order to change my life or to even notice red flags within my own life? A lot of the time, there's those that come and say, well, I don't know where to go in life, but they also don't want to take the necessary steps to look in the mirror and say, you know, maybe I need to change myself. Maybe I'm the problem and maybe I need to, you know, find a new way of doing things. A lot of the time when it comes to those that don't want to change is because they're stuck in this stuck mentality of they want to be martyrs or they want to be victims. And that victim mentality is always going to be a problem with someone who's trying to change because they're going to always want to keep them at this very low vibration and always keep them in this mindset of like life is horrible and life's never going to change. There's nothing going to be good out of life. That's not true. For a person that's not willing to do anything for their forward movement, yes, that's true. But for someone who is making the necessary steps to move forward in life, life is sky's the limit. There's, there's no limitations to the amount of things that could be done if you put your, your best foot forward and, and clear your mindset and say, look it, I don't have to think, feel, or, or behave in a way that doesn't suit me to, you know, to make me feel good. That's not meant for me to go in a positive direction. Um, you should always change your words that are negative into positive words. So definitely, I would tell you to create like two lists. One list that basically talks about all the positive words and one, one list that gives you all the negative words so that you can reflect. Look at all the negative words that you say on, on a regular basis and slowly try to transition all those negative words out and replace them with positive words that allows your mindset to kind of think in a more positive way starts to think in a more positive way, starts to feel in a more positive way because life is never going to be stagnant. Life is never going to just keep you where you're at and never going to allow you to have forward movement. You got to have forward movement if you're willing to put in the work for yourself to allow the great things to come into your life. Like, I don't care what the situation is. Nothing will ever be perfect. That's not a reality. But if you're willing to fight really hard on the things that you want to achieve, and the goals that you're trying to create for yourself. Um, one thing I would definitely say is to start a three, three, six, and one. What a three, three, six, and one is basically you start your first three months um, where you kind of like tackle all the small little things in your life that are not really important, important like that, but they kind of allow you to kind of start getting on the ball of necessary things that need to get done um, that you could be done that could be done very quickly. And then, you know, you move on to your next following three months that are more of the more trickier things and more um, harder things to get into. Like, you know, if you want to open a bank account or if you want to uh, start a new business or if you want to buy a new car, if you want to buy a house, like you have to pre-plan these things. So you want to create some kind of a vision board. You want to journal. You definitely want to create some kind of like a lesson plan for yourself so you could tackle your three and three. Then when you tackle your three and three, you're going to hit your six. Your six is your six months out. So you've already hit your first three months and then your second three months. And now you're going to plan your six months, months out. Your six months out is basically you breaking down the bigger things that you want to start achieving. Like you want to go towards that business. You want to get, you know, notice. You want to go towards collaborations. You want to um, maybe uh, step into a career path 
um, start, um, 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 any, anything, you know, anything that you consider is like, that's going to take more time to achieve those things you want to kind of leave for your six month. And then your one is, which is your one year is that after you've already tackled your three and your three and then your six, well, now you've already set up yourself for to, that following year to be able to tackle that whole year of planning and setting on your, your goal plan and your idea plan. So now you've already established, you know, getting all, all your, your, your ducks in a row for everything that you need to get done for yourself or your children. Then you start to tackle all the important things like setting a foundation, um, generational wealth, um, uh, stability, um, growth, development. And then you step into your ability of being able to provide for um, a bigger, you know, uh, area of that uh, spectrum that you're trying to get into, which is like buying a house, starting a career, opening a business. Um, those are the harder things that kind of take a little bit more time. Um, and then once you have all of those great things kind of like already started, already going, you've already, you know, got, got tackled a lot of these things, then you can start planning your year. You can start writing down, okay, well, I have a goal plan that's already set for the year before the year even gets here. When you can start putting yourself on, on a mindset to where you plan your, your days, your hours, your weeks, your months, you, and, and understand how to work with time management, you'll be able to... to achieve a lot of things that, that you didn't think you were able to achieve before because you set yourself up on a time management goal plan by the three, three, six, and one, and then you kind of set your day. There's 24 hours in a day, so you plan your hours of the day for every day, um, and then you put that on your calendar, which gives you a kind of a ballpark idea of what your, your weeks, months, your days, months, and weeks, and even years are going to look like, and that will allow you to have a lot more structure in your life. Mind you, when you start to do all of these things, I would advise a lot of you to be quiet and hush-hush about the things that you're trying to produce or get into or achieve because you are going to have those that are not going to be supportive of, of your forward movement, that are not going to be supportive of your goals, your hopes, and your dreams, um, that are not going to even be happy for you when it comes to these things because, let's be realistic, envy is a, is a huge thing right now. Bitterness is a huge thing right now. Hatred for anyone that tries to do anything positive is like a really big thing right now. So to step away from all of that and change the way your mindset um, is functioning and moving is by changing the way you think, by saying positive words. Like, be yourself. Dream big. Be honest. Strength. Believe in yourself. Like, when you can start changing your mindset and the way that you feel and the think, about yourself and to think about the world um, and definitely stick to your affirmations of I can I am and I will when you speak this on a regular basis like when you get up in the morning if you do your morning prayers for those that do believe in um, prayer and faith like definitely you know be thankful for the fact that you were even able to wake up this morning um, be grateful that you have the ability to have the things that you have and to be able to produce in the way that you're able to produce and 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 um, praise and be grateful for having the ability to still have those going forward in, in the movement of your life. And then, you know, be, be mindful of, you know, your thoughts and your feelings because you can only control one thing, yourself. You can't control the world. You can't control those around you. You can't control other people, but you can definitely control whatever's happening to you and in your own life. So start building affirmations. And living your life in a way where that you speak these affirmations to yourself or out loud and and um, change the tone of how you feel, how you present yourself to the world, and how you start to move forward in your own life. So I'm not going to stay on here very long. I'm basically going to leave you with um, change your mindset and the way that you produce uh, forward movement for yourself with I can, I am, I will. Create a list of positive and negative words that you say on a regular basis that are negative and replace them with positive words that are more positive for your mindset, your mental, and your heart. And then start to create your three, three, six, and one, which is your first three months, your next three months, your six months, and then your one year. That's creating your goal plan. Once you can tackle all of those things, you'll create a, a mindset of being able to get structured with uh, stability, and foundation so that you can have a better understanding of what the outlook of your future is going to be. So with that being said, I'm going to leave it there. I'm asking to go and you know, um, 
be happy every day. Be free every day. Allow growth to happen naturally. Ask when you don't understand and don't be afraid to seek help when you think you need it. We're not perfect. We're human. Have a good one. Bye.